Hi, I'm Reverend Mark Anthony Lord, and I'm here to bring you a down and dirty spiritual fear hack, a way to help you during this extremely trying times, trying times in ways that you probably, we don't consciously recognize our bodies absorbing the stress and the anxiety. And I think we're all having different kinds of symptoms and, and experiences of it. I personally am not sleeping great. Um, you know, so I've got my things going on, but what I also have going on is my prayer and my faith in God and my spiritual practice. And that's what I'm here to share with you just so possibly it can help you where you are. One of the challenges that happens to us when big things like this happen is we get superstitious. We get, we get afraid of God. We sort of suddenly become like, like our childhood experience of God goes to that like God's outside, this white man in the sky that's going to punish me or is doing something to us. People will often say, why would God do this? They project onto God the suffering and the pain. And that will only continue the suffering and the pain and make you feel worse. It's not how I experienced God today. Believe me, I did. When I was little, I was raised with that kind of a God and I was very afraid. But my whole spiritual path has been about moving from this external white male punishing God to the experience of God as love and support and perfect, perfect care within me and all around me. That's what's true, and that's what can be true for you today. One of the other challenges we face in the superstition of God is uh, the fear that whatever's happening is bigger. And so that's what this spiritual fear hack is for, to help you increase your awareness and hopefully your experience that God is greater than anything happening. Even if you don't understand really the depth of this word God, none of us do. It's, it's infinite. It's, it's, you know, whatever images of perfect love you have, lean into those. And whatever images you have of it being wrapped around you, use those. But a way to really get connected to expanding God, because if God's bigger than the problem, we don't have a problem. Well, we have things to move through, and it can still be tough, but God becomes our anchor. God becomes that which secures us and and carries us through. I have no doubt, no doubt that the grace of God is carrying you through. It's hard to see and it's hard to understand. And when we feel fear, we don't see that or understand that, but it's still there. It's still there. So here's a little practice for you. I like to add physical movement to it um, just to sort of energize the body and make it bigger than just thoughts. We want to get more than thoughts. We want to get into our body. So I reach up and I just say, my God is greater than every single problem. And then I go into my heart. My God is greater than every single problem. So I'm addressing the big, huge external God, and I'm addressing that same God that is right inside of me, the life that is inside of me. So I'm gonna do that, do that with me a couple of times. I'm gonna close my eyes and take a deep breath and do this with me, reaching up. My God is greater than every problem. Hands on your heart. My God is greater than every problem. Reaching up. My God is greater than every problem on your heart. My God is greater than every problem. Now let's do it for the virus, reaching up. My God is greater than this virus. My God in me is greater than this virus. Again, up. My God is greater than this virus. And on your heart, my God in me is greater than this virus. Take a nice breath with me. And after we do it, we just take a moment and breathe. And I always like to just say, God, use me today. Use my heart, use my voice, use my hands. Let me feel you and let me be the vessel for your love and your healing presence in the world. All right, there's our simple spiritual fear hack for today. Uh, Again, so much better to have a God that you focus on that's greater versus one that's outside doing something to you. Uh, That's it. And that's a mindset and that's a focus. And that's what today's about. 
So do that as much as you can, even if without the movement, when you're driving down the road, when, when, whenever the fear hits, my God is greater than this fear. My God is greater than this fear. Make that your like nonstop rolling affirmation. My God is greater than this fear. Peace and blessings.